going on? What's that, Ollie? Huh? Yeah, it's got my KFC, sorry. Are you about to flex your KFC in front of me? Huh? No, no, no. I did have better food. In the middle of the pod? What? Is that, is that what you're doing right now? What are you talking about? Is this mug bang? Dude, I'll start eating fudge on cam. What is it that you were saying? I can't hear you over my Renaissance Fair fudge. I couldn't hear you. No, I'm okay. Screen pause. What did you do? Something? Huh? Are you breaking up? You're not coming through. <laughs> All right, hold on. This bit is dumb, but let me finish this Tinder. Bro, what? You're telling me you're recording? <laughs> I am. Yeah. Hey, Bab, would you put it in the microwave? <laughs> I'm sorry for the mukbang. Yeah. No, I'm not. That was stopped for, your content for free. That was for the bit. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you very much. Yeah. Okay. There we go. What's, go, what's popping in there? Welcome, Welcome to back. another episode of the Synced Up Podcast. I'm Today's episode is sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> yeah. KFC. Try our KFC new Prime. chicken pizza. The KFC Prime. KFC Prime. You haven't seen that? The Kentucky Fried Chicken flavored Prime. What? That's wild. Hold on. What? <laughs> yeah, hold on. What did you just say? Beat my screen. What? Like this, the the energy drink? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, show the people. Make sure you show the people. Uh, people this is not here. real. Uh, Kai tried it on stream. This is a drinkable flavor. Was this an April Fool's bit? No, I believe they sent it out to people. As an April Fool's bit? Uh, One week ago? Come on. It's yeah, April Fool's. Yeah, but people got it and were able to try it. Yeah, it was real for them. Yeah. Anyway. Crazy. All right, sorry. A little off topic there. Oh, shit, the intro's running again. Fuck. It's like the old days. <laughs> Dude, rookie mistakes, bro. My bad, my bad. Anyway, uh, one of your hosts, Timothy Rowe, joining me, of course, uh, is your boy, your boy, Michael Clare. Well, uh, pleasure to be here, as mm -hmm. always. Anyway, oh, uh, we're, love it here. Yeah, we're going to talk about some things. Are we watching the Lego movie today? Uh, That does look like... No, they're playing... He's playing Lego 2K Drive. Oh. Yeah, the new Lego game on Game Pass. Okay. The cool. racing game. Shoutouts. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about Silver Surface stuff, Dune stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff. Kendrick and J. Cole, because we can. We talk about whatever the fuck we want on this podcast nowadays. Yes, sir. We went yes, to the sir. Ren Fair. We stared at the sun and the moon when they were next to each other. That's crazy. We're going to rank Celestial Bodies. I'm going to talk about some movies I watched Kim. this week and some games that I played. You know. You know the drill. You know what's let's up. Let's get into it. Okay, let's get right into Skip it. Skip the... Skip the funny business. Let's cut to the chase. Okay, first and foremost, Julie Garner got casted as the female Silver Surfer. Um, I feel like nobody saw this coming. Yeah. Not a single soul saw this coming. Not not that her getting casted, which I think is an interesting choice to begin with, but that we're getting female Silver Surfer. Yeah. Never seen it. I wish I had correspondent um, Chance Rainer. Yeah, I know her from Inventing Anna. I... I um, I should ask Chance for the lowdown on female Silver Surfer. Is yeah, like she, what the is she just, just the same? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. We'll have to find personally. out. I, well, I'll have to I'll have to hit him up and uh, do some investigative journalism. Fair. I'll come back and ask next week with some answers. Okay. We'll look into who the female surf, Silver Surfer is. How you feeling about this cast so far? Uh, Filled up a little more. I think it's alright. I mean, I don't know. I just want to see. Do the you movie. feel like Do you feel like Silver Surfer in the first movie is a little, a little much? Um, I don't know. I have my head empty on Silver Surfer, to be honest. Really? Mm -hmm. The Herald of Galactus? Yep. Completely Galactus empty. seems like a pretty big villain to just have in your first movie. I don't know. We're just skipping right over Doctor Doom? Or we're doing both. We're both, yeah. It's possible. That's a lot. That's a lot. Again, you know, me and the MCU have a weird relationship right now. I think everybody in the MCU has a weird relationship right now. What was even the last project? Um. How long has it been? The Marvels. Oh, look it up. No Echo. Way, bro. Echo in January. Was that it? Yeah, uh, something like last, that. Last. I'll, I'll give it a Google. Yeah. Last. Time. That seems like that's such a long time for Marvel. Yeah. I didn't realize we've been. Uh. Are we still in Phase Four? Uh. No that's idea. Such a bloated Wikipedia. No, I, I have no clue. Hey, I'll touch your camera down. By the way, though. Get like the bottom of the. You want to see my? See. You want to see my? 
Underpants? No, you're looking better. There we go. Um. No, we're we're on phase five. What? Okay. Why can't I just find? Why is this not easy to find? Oh, Google's fuck now. X Men. X Men's the most recent project. Oh, ninety-seven. Sure. But I need to I need to watch that. I actually want to watch that. Yeah. And then we're closing in on Deadpool three. I got a lot of shit I'm ingesting right now, so I can't. I can't add that to the pile. You know? I no, I actively need to add that to the pile. I'm kind of like I got too much. I'm kind of excited for that. I need to watch a, everything you need to know before watching X Men '97. Mm-hmm. True. And then I need to watch X Men '97. True. So true. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. Anyway, moving on. Dune three got announced. Dune Messiah. It's getting made. Buckle up. You, you know? read the books? No. 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 You know anything about this plot? No. All right, cool. Well, I feel I'll like watch, we've covered I'll, our thoughts then. Yeah. We, we've covered our thoughts in the previous Dune episode. Pretty much. I, You know, it'll be good. It'll be good. I did find out that uh, Dennis Villeneuve is making a fucking... What is he making? On. Lisa oh. Um, It was called a fucking... Don't mind what was it me. called? Uh, I don't know. Rendezvous with Rama. He's what making Rendezvous at Rama, bro. What is that? Um, Rendezvous with Rama is like, it's like this sci-fi short story by Arthur C. It's like Clark. a rival. Um, no. I, I, it, dude, I was just reading what something on the screen said. It's like, it is like sci-fi-ish, but like a, a ship appears in deep space and they send this team of people to go look at it and there's like weird shit going on. Yeah, it's a rival. It's kind of like a horror movie. It's a rival, but. But a rival's not a horror movie. Shift. Yeah. So it's it's suspenseful. Anyway, I'm excited for that because I went and read the short story and it was like, oh, this is great. Oh, it's based off a short story? It's based off a story, yeah. Okay, cool. Didn't know he was making that. He's also making a Cleopatra movie, which is cool. <laughs> Bro, I, I feel know. like uh, as a society, people really got into like Egyptian culture for a minute. Yeah. That's what we I do. I feel like we haven't been back. Yeah. Yeah. We need to... I, I'm... When are we gonna get the classics again? Like, when are we, we're due for another Romeo and Juliet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but let's done. remake Troy. It's done. Been done. You know? No, nah, we need another 300. Like, my dad hasn't had a movie to watch in 17 years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. This is Sparta. We need something for the, for the, the fellas, the older yeah. fellas. All that stuff's in, on TV now. You know? What's your dad been watching? A three body problem. Yeah, same. Yeah. yeah. How about when we get to there? Because I, don't, Kylie was telling me I didn't talk about the end of three body problem in the last episode. You so want to talk, talk about it? Uh, I'm cool with talking spoilers. That's All what right. I mean. We'll, we'll I feel wait like till later. Go and watch that at this point. We'll wait till later to do that then. Yeah. Um, moving Probably on. Last thing we do. Uh, other bit of news before we get into random shit. Game emulators can officially be on iPhone. There's like weird legal jargon along with that, but they can be on there, which is you know. An upgrade, regardless. So, will I be able to play Pokemon Fire Red on my iPhone? That's the question. You think not? Um, I'm not sure. Because they still have their weird download thing. Like, you can't download certain apps. This thing is just spinning weird. Um, they have their weird, like, third-party thing. So, I have no idea. Like, genuinely, could not tell you. No okay. Idea. I mean, this is a... It's a dub a regardless. Move. It's a dub regardless. It's a dub for sure, but we'll have to see how, how much use people can actually get out of it. All right, yep. Anyway, moving on. We went to the Renaissance Fair this week. We did. Yeah, would you, would you pick up? Renaf- Renaissance Fair week. Um, I believe we probably talked about it on the show before, maybe once. Um, but I feel like this was the best Renaissance Fair I've had. Uh, it was pretty good. I, I've gotten to go to. It was pretty good. Um, the weather was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I don't it, know if it, usually was it, thunderstorm. Was it, like, it was fine when we yeah, went to. Yeah, usually there's like so much rain during Renaissance Fair weekend and it sucks. But it was really nice when we went. Um, the food was phenomenal. I'll give a quick review. Had a heritage of meat pies. Had a curry lamb meat pie, delicious. And then a cottage pie, delicious. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kylie, how was your corn dog? Fabulous. She okay. says. Fabulous corn dog. What else? Um, Me personally, I didn't get none of the food. Because I bulled really? so hard at the. Was that your first stop? Was the yeah illustration? Well, I, I went to a bunch of spots. I got I got the root beer too. 
Okay. I went. Yeah, I got a bottle too. Wait, you got your own bottle? Yeah, I got both. I got a refill and a bottle. Did you refill it and break, save some for me? I mean, there's still some in the bottle. I mean, it's old now. Yeah, but if you had sealed it and, and didn't drink it. I mean, it is sealed. It it, I mean, we drank like three quarters of it. So, so is there some for me? <laughs> sure, if you want to drink this fucking old root beer. But is it fresh? No, it's old. Is there no fresh root beer for me? No, there's no fresh root beer, bro. That's why I gave you the bottle. No, you gave me the bottle so I could then try the no, root beer I for cheaper. I, said, I, believe, I believe I said that's you not what happened. refill. No. And then you give me a refill. And no, back. uh-uh. No, that's not what happened. It's revisionist history bullshit. I think that's what happened. Anyway, the pickles were good. I tried the pickles that y'all gave me. I like yeah. them a lot. Like sweet garlic, spicy pickles. I don't know. They were cool. Yeah, no, they're kind of they're kind of like. And then I I got a little show and tell here if, if you're on the video version. Um, the uh, shout out uh, Lily Strations. Yeah, yeah. She her booth was fire. She's on Instagram. She has her own. So I got uh, her own page. Some cool art prints and some cool like Magic the Gathering tokens. Dude, um, those tokens are so fire. Let me see if I can switch to the face cam so that people can see. Just yeah, go ahead. Whole, it's oh, current. you're cutting me out? Yeah, you're 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 off the you're off stream right now. Dude, I can show balls right now. You can huh? <laughs> what? Um, no, that doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do regular. We're just gonna have to Okay. I can't oh my fog. Shit. Okay. See here, I got uh as you can see here, I got like three art prints up here of mm -hmm. Rhydon, uh Vaporeon and Charizard. They're like stencil prints they were in like the agosh machine i think for the three that i got from agosh machine pretty good no you got some good hits and we got um i wanted the Mew. Queen. i wanted the Mew. Queen on the Mew was fire yeah i wanted the Mew really bad um but these were cool and then i got these magic tokens i got a uh kraken token that's um kyogre here which was really dope um and then i got a beast token that's uh my neighbor totoro themed it looks really dope I mean, that one's clean. And then did I got it. Did you look through the clearance bin? Yeah, yeah. That's where I got one of the ones I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, and then I got this here treasure token that has various stuff from video games. just like a diamond, a master sword, a pokeball, um, all kinds of stuff in it. So I got those. They're so good. That was cool. Um, I got this uh, Hades painting. Or no, this ain't Hades. This is a... Uh, That's not Hades. This is... Hal's Moving Castle. Mm -hmm. um, this thing's cool. You can see like Hal and the girl down here walking. Yeah. All kinds of cool stuff. I mean, I uh, what happened was I talked them them down on the price of the frames if I bought more. Because I knew I want. I was having choice paralysis. And yeah. so I was like, I want to buy a bunch of these. So I was like, hey, if I buy a bunch, will you sell me the frames for cheaper? Um, and she yeah, did. They're, they're, like, they're like $5 frames probably. Not, nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, that so one was fire. This Hades painting here. There was a green one as well, but I really liked the red one. I like the green one better. I will. I, I like the one that's that one was also the one that was the uh, the blanket, right? The green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was so fire, bro. Um, so good. Spirit Fair. Spirit that's Fair painting. That here. was. I didn't. I didn't know what that one was. Spirit yeah. Fair. That makes sense. So good. She I hit just, a lot of your niche games. Oh, a thousand percent. A thousand. Percent. Like I, when I saw the Gris one. Agree. Sorry, agree, right? You talking about this one right here? Yeah, that's great, right? Yeah. No, I was like, that's... We're speaking Tim's language here. I don't even... Like, I like Gree, but I don't fuck with it that heavy. But this painting but is, the just, artwork is, is crazy. just too good. It's it's insane. Um, Gree, and then I picked up... This was the clearance one. It was the Kirby. It was the Kirby. Yeah, that's still fire. Um, did Was there no Totoro ones in the clearance? I figured you might grab that one. Nope. Was there still Drifflins? Nope, no Drifflins either. Yeah. Uh, dang, I wonder how many good ones there were day one that we might have we might have missed. I know the clearance ones are because the clearance ones are ten bucks, but the other ones were forty plus twenty for each cons like excess one that yeah. you bought. Yeah. No, the ten dollar ones. I was like, dude, that, that's if you find some good ones, that's it. Um, is that your haul? Yeah, that's my haul from the thing. Uh, I'll, I'll give the quick rundown. So I'm on cam, right? You can see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got this little Needle Queen print. That's pretty good. That one's pretty fire. 
Um, like, I felt good about the gotchas. I was kind of worried we were going to get, like, Kakuna or something. Did you get three of them or just one? We just got one. Okay. I, I could not bring myself. But this Drifloon print here, I'm a little more zoomed in than you are. Um, this this is fire. Yeah, it's a great print. And there's also, yeah, there's also a little Growlithe at the Growlithe bottom. in the corner, yeah. Yeah, bro. That being 10 bucks, I was like, no way. Yeah. I had to support. I hope they come back next year because I'll get more for sure. I do too. If uh, if they're like in Oklahoma for like any reason, I might just go to like whatever convention they're at. Because normally for art like that, you're shelling out way more. I feel like, um, and I like yeah. having them in these frames. I was thinking about you know the wall behind my couch, like not uh -huh. this wall right here, but this this yeah, one that I'm facing. One? Just that, I would, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what the the current uh, plan was. Possibly it might look good as like a little W two. Like yeah, a little, a little staggered or something. Maybe not just straight something We're, yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out but i got them all in the the frames they look really good yeah. no that was a good haul yeah um, no we got some great stuff kylie also got like some uh mario mushroom earrings hell that yeah i talked her into getting we got mm -hmm. an ornament a snorlax ornament yeah um i just had a sport it's cool did you did you like watch any of the events or anything oh we watched some uh like dancers there's a dude on a unicycle that's a that's something i feel like me and kylie don't do too often because I mean, I spend my time drumming with Tim. That's what mm -hmm. I do with my extra time is I go play drums. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, who was it? Some other friends were talking about how, like, um, they watch, like, jousting and stuff like that. Yeah. And how it's, like, a full-on spectacle. I've seen um, it in passing. So ne next year I might try and make more of an effort to watch some of that. We yeah. were on a little bit of a time crunch, but I want to I wanna spend more time next year. I yeah. love the Run Fair. It's great. It's great. Uh, moving on. I mean, there's not, you know, moving on. Kendrick and Cole. Gabbity, Kend gabbity. Gabbity, gabbity. Kendrick and Colby, if you want to talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, This this is going to sound nerdy, too. I mean, this is just hip-hop nerdy. Yeah. Um, Different type of nerdy than we usually talk about on the podcast here. Do we do a quick recap first? Is that what you want? Sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, So, it starts out, if you're not familiar, there's a concept of the big three in hip-hop right now. Kendrick Lamar, Jermaine Cole. And Drake, mm -hmm. Aubrey Graham, Jermaine. Those Shepard. are the big three. And it's not even close. No, it's a big gap. This is a concept by everybody. Um, and it, and then J Cole and Drake hop on a song together and make reference to the big three. Mm -hmm. Um, putting respect on themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then they're also both like we're the best in the song. Um, mm -hmm. saying that they're the best out of the three. Um, then Kendrick, on. A album made by Metro Boomin and Future, who have beef with Drake, drops a, a, a little eight bar verse dissing J. Cole and mostly Drake. Well, are you a little bit of Cole. It's mostly a Drake diss, but mm -hmm. J. Cole It's okay with all these nines. You're going to see Pet Cemetery. Um, and it blew up. Have you seen the numbers on that song right now? Uh, No. Dude, it is like the most streamed hip hop song um, in a hot minute. Like the numbers, the numbers on that song are crazy. It's probably gonna be the most streamed song of the year or something like that. One like, ten like, million on Spotify. Yeah, no, it's insane. Um, like how fast it's gotten those numbers because it only came out a week ago. Yeah. Like how, so, so the, the rap world was in a tiff, enamored, waiting, waiting for J Cole or Drake to say something, and then J Cole says, um, "Album dropping tomorrow," um, and it's titled "Might Delete Later," which. <laughs> It's funny. funny. Uh, and then the last song in the album is called Seven Minute Drill. And I wonder if it's still I guess on there. the lore on that is that it took them seven minutes to write that song. And in that song... Still there right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it'll probably be a few days. Um, in that song, J. Cole throws quite a few disses at Kendrick Lamar. But they're all very, very weak. Like yeah, nothing, they are. No crazy insults. Just saying some of his songs were kind of mid, calling him short. But they guessed. Trans people caught a stray. I don't know why the trans um, people caught a stray. That was a little weird. I don't know either. Uh, so that that happens. And everybody's like, J. Cole, that was a little mid. Mm -hmm. that, was not, that was not the best diss. Kendrick's about to kill this man. Mm -hmm. Kendrick is going to murder this man. Um, then two days later <laughs> at Dreamville, Dreamville. Um, which is J. Cole's, uh, his label, his brand, um, they do their big festival. He gets on stage to perform Love Yours. And before he does, he says, 
That was the corniest, lamest shit I've ever done in my life. He said, I've been losing sleep. I love Kendrick. I, I don't even know why I pretended. Um, we're going to pull that song off of social media or off of, off of streaming. I mean, um, and, and yeah, and now everybody's like <laughs> who perplexed. Who's taking a spot in the big three? Yeah. I saw, I saw dude, the funniest tweet, bro. It was like, uh, congratulations, <laughs> big Sean. You've been promoted. Yeah. Um, welcome, welcome to the big three. Welcome to the big um, three. It's tough, bro. Cause I don't know how you feel about it. I, I, I feel like I'm very like. J. Cole minded where I'm like I don't got ops for I don't got no ops sure uh, I got no enemies yeah um, I'm not trying to start beef with nobody mm-hmm. um, like I as, on a personal level I feel that yeah but you got a job brother <laughs> and, and you got some credit to protect he don't got a big EO so he probably yeah. doesn't think that doesn't care that much about it but it's it's a little crazy that this is how this is like ended for yeah. that side of it I didn't expect um, it Yeah And then Currently I don't know if you've seen this Did you see what uh, DJ Academics did? No I hate Academics What he did I do too I do too But He sent that video Of J. Cole apologizing To Drake And said You better not do this <laughs> And Drake said Don't worry so, I got something coming and No way something like that. When did, Where yeah. did you see that? On on. Look it up Look up Academics J. Cole Drake um, six hours ago. Uh, there. The go to the XXL. This one. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's check that one. DJ Academics begs Drake. Oh, it disappeared. Uh, da da da. I said, please don't do no shit like this. Please don't apologize and do no weird shit. Drake said, I can't fit, fucking believe you would pull up and say some shit like that to me. You you must not know me. Uh, da, 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 Cole. Yeah, basic, basically that. That's it. Um. Okay. It's him saying like that's not how it's gonna play out for me. Mm-hmm. Is what Drake's saying. I can't believe you say some shit like that to me. You just you must not know me. Okay. Yeah. So, so Drake is uh, <sighs> inferring that he's got some heat coming. Okay. All right. So may, there might we might still eat. Okay. I hope because Drake Drake can Drake can battle. More than Cole, sure. I would have. I would have from the beginning. Yeah. Um, been like Drake, Drake's gonna have a better time at this than than Cole. Yeah. So. Okay. But Cole's reputation's in the gutter. So sorry for that brief stint, but I enjoy talking about this. Yeah, yeah, talking yeah. About it all day with people. Um, it's all over my timeline, TikTok. Yeah. It's Wild so times. funny. That have you seen the prophetic stuff too? No. Uh. So you know the song oh. part, part four. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's crazy. Some some good memes coming out of this. I remember you was conflicted. <laughs> Misusing your influence. Dude, all the memes are so good, bro. The ones where like, well, he's like J. Cole trying to go to sleep at night. Trying to all sleep. He hears is, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> top of the top morning. Top of the morning. Tonight. Dude, tonight. So tonight. Oh, top of dude. the morning. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. We've been eating. We haven't been eating with the music, honestly, but the, the, the memes have been fire. And I will yeah, say. true. The rest of the J. Cole album is pretty it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. I like it a lot. It's better than KOD, and that's all I could ask for. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Moving on. We saw a little bit of clips on. today. Yeah. Uh, would so you, if you, you look at it with the gaggles? With the clips, it is the third movie <laughs> in the Twilight series. Shut the fuck up, bro. Um, sorry. <laughs> did I look at it with glasses? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you said? Yes, I did. Okay. I didn't. I just went outside and frolicked. I didn't have no glasses. You should have went to Sonic, bro. I told you. I didn't. I just, you know. They have. They had glasses. I took a few rips and frolicked in the grass. Did you just look up real quick? I tried to look at it through my phone, but my phone couldn't get like a good you thing need on the glasses. It. Yeah, you gotta have the glasses. Um, we were in like ninety five percent, which is like you're just gonna see a sliver. Mm-hmm. It's not nearly as hype as being in the the path of totality or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is still super cool. Um, you were outside the whole time, so you got to experience like the temperature drop. Yeah. Um, I was hanging out on the porch. My boy Adrian at work is a big weather nerd. Mm -hmm. So he's pulling up the mesonet and like showing me the solar radiation, like dip. Yeah. As the eclipse started. And that was pretty cool. Um, do you think you'd ever want to go to, uh, like the path of totality on the next one? I I wanted to on this one because it lined up right, but I knew it was going to be cloudy. So I was like, man, I want to drive three and a half hours. And it'd yeah. be cloudy. Because the next one's 2045. Oh. 
That's a good long way. We got 21 years. We can plan that one out. Yeah, we can plan that one Book out. Book ahead on Airbnb. Figure something out. Figure, figure something out there. Figure something out there. Figure something out. Figure something out. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of celestial bodies, though, you finished yeah. the three-body problem. You talking about me? Yeah, you. My body? One of the three bodies. My of body. Three of your, one of your land. three bodies. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about three-body problem. Go for well, it. You want to talk about this now, or did you want to save it to the end? Let's just talk about it now. Okay. We, I we don't got much of a transition, so I don't want to ruin the transition. Yeah, the transition was too good, but, you know. Um... So I finished three body problem. Yes, you did. Um, Verdict. Um, I don't like episode eight that much. Yeah, it ha- it lends on a cliffhanger. It's not. It's not even like a cliffhanger. It's just that like. Spoiler. We lost. Yeah. And then we gotta go back to the drawing board. And yeah. It just kind of feels like a weird place to like. It's an odd spot then. And the like, there was no W taken at the end. No. Homie give a good speech about the bugs, W. Was like, yeah. The W's are coming later in this in this I'm story. I'm sure. I'm sure. And I'm very excited for the future. I love the concept of this show. It's great. I, I love it. Um, the wall facers is such an interesting thing. It's one of the most dope sci-fi concepts, especially in the it book. So cool. The way that it plays out and the way that things happen. I'm going to give you a slight teaser for what's to come without spoiling anything major. Sure. But the plot line of the second book is the wall facers have to come up with plans to beat the guys because obviously the science is fucked up and nothing makes sense so they can't advance technologically so they give the wall um facers unlimited resources no questions asked do whatever you want bacon and so they have to come up with their plans and they do stuff and so they're the you know the mystery in this season and in the first book is like what's going on who's what's the point what's happening and then you find out the mystery in the second book is what are the wall facers planning and you see them each independently do weird shit that doesn't make no sense but you're not in their head so you don't know what they're doing and the the aliens introduce these characters called the wall breakers whose whole whose sole purpose are are to specifically figure out what their plan is and so yeah. there's these moments where they're like hey so and so i'm but you're the wall facer but and my name's this and i'm your wall breaker and here's what i think your plan is and so like it's like these weird things is you're trying to figure out what the fuck the plans are while the aliens are too and they're trying to like work it out and that's where the new mystery is is like it's like a it's like a it's 3D like, okay, chess board. Why did he spend 300 billion dollars on this random fucking thing that he wants to put here? That doesn't make any sense and then you're trying to connect like yeah. what like what this could possibly do to deter the enemy. It's great. It's excellent. I'm excited. And then uh, everyone's I, there's going to be like a bunch of time skips cuz you know like everyone's in cryo sleep and they wake up and go to sleep and wake up and go to sleep and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's I, I I wasn't sure if the show was going to actually like try and cover 400 years, which pausing technology makes that a lot easier. Uh-huh. Like technology being paused is like, okay, we don't have to worry about like skipping 100 years and like people yeah. still using iPhones, right? Like Mhm. Mm-hmm. So, um that they kind of saved themselves there like conceptually. It's so good. Yeah. It helps a lot. Um but I, I I'm really excited for the show. It's great. It's not it's not like top five territory or anything like that yet. So. Yeah, it's great. I'm excited. I'm I'm hoping they get renewed. They still haven't got renewed, and that has me that has me freaking out. Season twenty three. My bad. Let's see. Uh, looks like no updates really. It hasn't got a renewal. That sucks. Forbes saying there's good news. I'm assuming Yahoo's just posting the same shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I get my really. news from Yahoo Entertainment as well. Just their stuff from there. <laughs> Things, you know, that's whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Cool show. Three-body problem. That shit's dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Now it's time to rank celestial bodies, though. Wait, should we do that now or later? I feel like it's the end. It's, usually, I think it's the end. It just felt right, you know? Celestial bodies, three-body problem, the eclipse, but... Yeah. You're right. We'll keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. Let's, uh, we'll finish talking about what we've been watching. Um, things we've been we watching, things watched, we've been playing. We both watched the finale to Invincible. Yeah, that shit's great. That is phenomenal. Thought you were it stronger. so good, bro. You said you were stronger. You said you were stronger. Yeah, he finally... Yeah, that's good oh, shit. so good. It was bro. excellent. It was excellent. I liked it a lot. Really upset that I'm going to have to wait. But we are eating in TV coming up. June's packed. Bear, House of the Dragon, yeah. The Boys... And then a couple months later, Arcane. Like, come on. Yeah, we're going to have some good film. It's cooking. Um, I'm just, I'm glad that we're, I love Invincible, baby. Yeah, Invincible's great. Watch that shit it's, if you haven't I've once, it once again hit the urge of having to force myself not to read the comic. All of it. Yeah. yeah. 
I want to Because I so badly want to know where they go from here. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> so do I. Um, yeah, we watched that Three Body Problem. Of course, you finished that. Uh, mm-hmm. I watched a few things. I watched one new thing and a couple of things I've watched before as I'm showing to other people. Yeah, um, I'm looking at your list here. These are all things that we've So, Dear Zachary. Yeah, documentary. Watched that before. Rewatched it this week. It's still excellent. Um, yeah, heartbreaking. That's a, that's a highly horrible. recommended to everybody as well. Um, the Before Trilogy. Watched the, the first two movies. They're still really good. Best, rom- best, best romance I, film out there. Did I watch one of those? Um, no, I've been trying to get you to watch one, though. I could have um, swore I watched one. It's excellent. It's the best romance it's film out there. Before. before Sunrise. Yeah, it's the one where they're like, it's in different parts of their life, right? Uh, each movie, yeah. Yeah. The first one's yeah. Before Sunrise. Yeah, it's not, I just don't think it'll ever do it for me, Slime. You know what I'm saying? That's so good, dude. It's so good. Anyway, um, then the VR Chat documentary. I watched that before. We met in VR Chat. Yeah, we watched that one. Um, that documentary still hits. And the reason I'm watching that is because we bought an Oculus uh, Quest 2. Um, Didn't you have a VR headset? Yeah, no, we had an Oculus Quest 1. Noah sold it to my dad's girlfriend years ago oh, okay. for cheap. And then I, I looked up the Quest 2, and it was only 200 bucks. Whoa. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna, not bad at all. I'm going to pick that up. So we got that. Um, and they have new ways of like working with your computer so you don't have to have a cord and it works excellent. Um, and Noah's been playing a lot of VR chat and that's why I watched the VR chat documentary. Um, it's cause he's been playing a ton of VR chat. Yeah. I'm just getting lost in the sauce. Um, lost in the sauce. I respect it. Yeah. The documentary is still really good. If you haven't watched it, it's just a good documentary. Even if you're not really interested in VR chat, it's like a really cool lens into like a world that you're not normally in, um, mm. or that you're not like super into and it, and it works really well. Um, I liked it a lot. And then the movie I watched this week that I haven't watched before was Perfect Days. Um, follows a Japanese man in Japan who cleans toilets for a living, and that's pretty much all. That's the whole plot. Um, it's one of those. It's one of those boring movies. It's really, really good. Um, it's just his life and him loving life and the stuff that he got going on. He's an old man in Tokyo cleaning toilets, and a few things happen here and there. Not much happens in the movie, but it was really good and pretty profound. Um, I liked it a lot. I, I liked it. How do you find this stuff, bro? I stay tuned in. I'm tapped in. Okay? Did you just look at the Oscar noms? No, it's not. It wasn't Oscar nommed. It was a, a YouTuber I watched that makes video no, essays the, on movies. Movie is Oscar nominated? Was it? Yeah, it was nominated for best international film. Oh, I didn't even know. Well, there you go. Makes sense. That's why I probably wanted to. Probably why it was even in that video that I watched. Um, actually, it wasn't even a video. It was just a thumbnail, and I seen it, and I was like, that looks cool, and I looked it up, and I was like, yeah, I'm watching this. I'm not gonna look up anything. I'm just gonna watch this, and I did, and it was good. Is, is Brie um, Larson in this movie? No. Why is Brie Larson in the photos for this movie? That's really odd. I don't know. Uh, it's like anyway. a bunch of pictures from the movie and then Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Yeah, that's weird. Weird. Uh, um, And then that's all for stuff I've been watching. I'm still playing Final Fantasy XIV, the MMO. I'm level 30 now. I like it. He grinded. Um, I was playing VR, playing a little pistol whipped. God, I was sore for so long. After like an hour of pistol whip, that shit hurt. Bro, pistol whip breaks you. And bro. then I'm I'm still locked in on Dragon's Dogma. I'm like 40 hours in at this point. Um, do you, that game's, do that game's you great. beat Dragon's Dogma? Yeah. How do you win? It has a quest line and story and everything. Dragon's Dogma feels like Skyrim did back in the day, a thousand percent. Like exploring and just finding shit and yada yada yada. No, no, not a whole lot of quest markers though. A lot of stuff it'll be like, hey, Sven wants to talk to you over here, and then. If you don't go talk to him over there and you forget, you forgot. There's not a fucking quest marker to tell you to go do that. I hate that. It's great. Um, it. It's really good. I, I like that game a lot. I'm talking I'm about having, that stuff in real life. Don't even do having stuff in a game. I'm having so much fun doing it. Anyway, let's get you're on to ranking, fun. ranking Celestial Bodies. Wait, what? Nothing. I was just saying so you're going to have fun. Oh, okay. Perfect. With me right now. You right now? I'll rank your Celestial Bodies. You're going to rank my Celestial Bodies. We're going to rank Celestial Bodies because there was a fucking eclipse this week. Or space Seems stuff. Seems topical. Sp- we're doing space things. Cool space things. Yeah. Where do you want to start, brother? Just at the front. Asteroid. Where are you ranking it? Asteroid. The- um, No, lower, bro. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's literally just space rock. Yeah, you're right. It's C. It's C. All right. Hold up. Atoms. Atoms uh, are S tier. Like that's an obscure one to put on here, but yeah, I agree. S tier. Atoms got cool stuff going on. Black hole, S tier. Do you believe in the... Uh, uh, slamming your hand on the table theory. Um, that that, it's it just science. Times, There's no need to believe or not believe. It's just true. Enough times your hand will eventually just go through. Yeah, the, mathematically that is something that could possibly happen. 
I want to see it happen, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. Black hole S tier. Yes. You're, no, we're not. I feel like I, let me let me say my piece. I feel like as a whole, <laughs> black holes have been overhyped. You're stupid. They've been overhyped. No, Mike, you're dumb. But I think they're they're still S tier. But they've been overhyped. Right, like all my life, I was scared of black holes for no reason. <laughs> For no That's reason. Funny. It's like quicksand. All right, all right. All right, Comet, Comet is just a cooler asteroid. I'm thinking B. Yeah, no, it's like uh, maybe A, bro. Yeah, Think about right. Haley's Comet, bro. Earth? I just saw Haley's Comet. She w- uh, Earth? It's S tier, bro. Think about That's all the things. Thinking. Think You're about right, all the things that had to you know, go right for life to be sustainable on Earth. Like Earth, S tier, humanity. No, no. Yeah, we're not talking about the inhabitants. We're talking about the You're planet. right. It's gas. Galaxies. Galaxies as a whole, A tier. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking better than Comet, at least. Galaxy clusters, yeah. better than galaxies. Are they? What was that? Are they? Yeah. I don't I don't know. I guess but, I guess if you have one A tier thing and then all of a sudden you have ten A tier things, that has to be better than the one A tier thing. You know what? I'll give it to you. All right, Jupiter. No, Jupiter's, Jupiter's garbage. Are you shitting me? Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupid, brother. Dude, Think Jupiter, for a second. No, Jupiter is A tier. Uh, the biggest planet in the solar system. Isn't it a gas giant, bro? Come the on. big red dot. It's a gas giant. Jupiter is the only reason we're alive right now. It's un- It's not even cool. It's goaded. It's got the red dot. I'll give you B tier. And it, dude, it literally keeps us from dying. You can say that about any of these. No. You can't. Jupiter, How does Jupiter keep us from dying? Bro, Jupiter sucks in so many like stray asteroids and shit that would otherwise murder us, bro. Fine. A tier. Mars? B tier. I, I said you could put it. Yeah, okay. Mars? B-tier. You can put Mars on B tier? Yes. What's so special about Mars? It's just red Mars dust. Is- There's nothing going on. But it's actually kind of inhabitable. By definition, it is not. It is not at all. Have Go you live. seen The Martian, bro? Come on. No, dude. No. B tier. <sighs> Mercury C. Mercury is C. It's not great. It's better than the asteroid, though. All right, Medi- meteor is a scary asteroid. That's true. I, think I don't B. like meteors. Meteor B because of Final Fantasy VII. Okay, that, I'll give you that. The, the moon, moon S tier. That's what I was about to say. The moon's S tier. The moon's hype as hell, bro. Yeah, moon's great. Moon's great. Uh, nebula, nebula clouds. clouds. I'm, I'm feeling S tier. <laughs> I feel like S tier is too high for Nebula Clouds. They're good oh. just for photos. Take a couple glances at these, bro. Damn. Convince me. Okay, yeah, you're right. Hold here's on. A, here's a Nebula Cloud. No, I give it to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. S tier. What about? I've what been about, convinced. I'll, I'll hit you. I'll hit you on one more. Dude, you're such a nerd. I hit you on one more of these. God, that's so cool. Okay, S tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to. I can't believe you know that stuff off, off <laughs> dome. <laughs> I'm a space right, guy. Nept- if you like a space. Neptune? Neptune? Don't be doing nothing for nobody. It doesn't live up to... Yeah, it doesn't... It hasn't done it anything is, to stand out. I think it's C. It is blue, though. Yeah, that's true. It is blue, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Neutron star? I don't know nothing about A-tier. neutron stars. Neutron stars? Jimmy neutron. Neutron star is, uh, is like a... It, they're, like, really small, and they have a lot of mass, and they spin really fast. They've also usually... They're usually from collapse, like a star that's are collapsed. They, are they really <laughs> blue like that, though? Um, they're diff- all kinds of different colors. They, they exist on all kinds of different spectrums. I think they're B. B. Quasi? Um, uh, 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 okay, that's like a... Do we they have more. that separate from... Okay, some more. I'm not sure the difference between a quasi star and a quasar. I thought those were the same thing. Um, a hypothetical type of extremely massive and luminous star that may have existed in the oh, history of the like universe. Oh, it's like the biggest type of star. The big guy. The big lad. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. A. That's A tier. Saturn, Saturn S. S tier. S tier. They got the rings, bro. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Solar Eclipse. I think A tier. So do I. So do I. Because, uh, n- like, 90% of the people getting to experience it are getting, like, a B tier experience. But it, yeah. for the for the 1%, yeah. it's, like, life-changing. Solar Who's System that? is S tier. The solar system as a whole? We got a lot of cool stuff in here. We do. Sure. Okay. Star clusters. 
Actually, no, solar system got to come down to top A because I want to put star clusters in S tier. Star clusters, dope. Sure, I, I'm not. I'm not too big Actually, on like ranking these ones that are just like true groups of things. Sun, Sun S tier. Uh, I, was, I was saying the same thing. Here's what I'm. I'm, I'm. I'm putting black hole down to A. Super mass, massive black hole to S. Okay. See, that, now you're doing something. Yeah. Like if we took thinking. this thing and made it big. Yeah, bigger. now it's bigger. What we got here? I can't a, read that one. A supernova. Mmm. Those are pretty cool. <laughs> I like them. I think they're A. I hope I get to see one in my lifetime. Um, yeah. S. That's what I was thinking also, but I didn't want to say it. Uranus? Uranus, I'm one to put in garbage simply because it gives fuel to those people who make bad jokes, you know? Yeah, it is a pretty bad joke. Throw it down there. Okay. This I actually Oy don't know. Oi, I actually don't know. What's Oi, Scooty? I don't know this. Look this up. Scud him. It's considered. It is the, the largest biggest known star. star. Yo, throw them in S tier, bro. I like big stars. You're right. You're right. I'm trying to be a big star. Venus. Venus. I, th I think Venus B. exists in the same spot as Mars. Yeah. Yeah. White dwarf goes with a neutron. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Asteroid, asteroid belt? belt is high. I like. I like asteroid belt. It's pretty cool. I think conceptually it's cool. Uh, so do I. What do you think? Like you know? God a cooked or? when he made that one. Uh, a or? I think. I think S, bro. Okay. I'm noticing a lot of space things are S. I don't know this one either, actually. You don't know about Callisto? Oh, okay. It's a it's a moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're uh, getting into moon. I'd like the ninety percent of what's left is moons. I think it just goes with with Jupiter. Uh, sh sure. What Series, la okay. Most of I these feel moons like, are gonna be in here, bro. Hear me oh, out. Go ahead. We judge these moons off of vibes from their okay. photo. Callisto, okay. I think, is a tier off of the looks. That's a cool sure. looking moon. Yeah, yeah. Series, Series not doing C. it for me. Kind of ugly. Eris kind of giving moon vibes. B. Yeah, I agree with that. Ganymedes with Eris. Yeah, that's fine. Hamia, is that a moon okay, with yeah. rings? I'm not sure. Because that's hype. Oh, it's it's a dwarf planet in our solar system. I'm, the I, I like him, bro. He got that? rings? Yeah. I, I throw that boy in A tier, bro. He he cooking. Okay. I like him. Make make? Is that a moon? I don't know. It sounds weird enough to not really. I haven't heard of that moon. I don't think it's a moon. There's another dwarf planet. It kind of looks like a, a Star Wars type planet. It does. It goes uh, with B. Yeah. yeah. Phobos, B. Pluto. Pluto, S, bro. That's, that's S tier, bro. Put some I love Pluto. Titan, Titan, that's, Titan is S. He, he competing with moon. Yeah, Titan is up there. Titania, B. Yeah. yeah. Triton, that's a good name. That is a good name. I'm thinking A. Yeah. Dwarf, Dwarf planets, planets in general? S. S. Moons I, in general? Moons S. in general? S. Planets, planets in general? A. Yeah. Planets Rings, can be made. S. Rings are S. Stars, S. Stars are S. Quasar, Quasar S. Are, yeah. yeah. I feel like this is certifiably uh, the best. So Uranus, the only garbage tier <laughs> space <laughs> thing. Yeah, bro. Those jokes suck. I would never <laughs> laugh at your Uranus joke. You literally probably would every time. Never. Anyway, now it's time for Reader Mail. You can get your questions right on the show by writing into syncdefpod at gmail.com or the Reader Mail submission tab of the Discord, just like Spencer and Fielding did this week. Spencer or text writes in. Tim at 405. No, no, no. Don't fucking say that. Uh, do you use the Oxford comma by Spencer? Uh, this, was like, this was like a dumbass question, right? What do you mean? No disrespect to Spencer, but who doesn't use the. If you don't use the Oxford comma, we have a serious issue. I love the Oxford comma. There's no such thing as loving or not loving the Oxford comma, okay? you There's the Oxford comma, and you are a normal, rational, no, 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 no. adult no. human being. No, Or you don't use the explain. Oxford comma, and you're an idiot. Let me explain. Because when I when there's the opportunity to not use the Oxford comma, I get joy out of using it. Like, I, I can see where, like, oh, this is the path where an idiot would not use the Oxford comma, but I'm a smart fella. Um, <laughs> yeah. These other guys are fart smelling. I'm a smart fella. I'm going to put the Oxford comma there. It's, it's of the utmost importance, it. bro. I love it, bro. And commas, commas backpack. Honestly, bro, I just be using commas all the time. Should we rank punctuations next week? <laughs> just, just, uh. Just like the punctuations? Yeah. No, I'm with it. With <laughs> writing marks or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. No, I'm down. 
Feel, we're fielding. Very, yeah, we are. Scary with these. <laughs> fielding writes in, choose your secret sort of superpower. You can only choose one, and if anyone finds out about it, you lose it. Ooh. Never suffer a bug bite again. Only encounter green lights while driving. Charge any electronic to fool with your mind. Fall asleep instantly whenever you want. Mm, I think... I, so we're picking here not based on which one you want, but on which one you're least likely to lose from someone pointing it out and being like, you're cheating. Yeah. I feel like the electric one, I'd get caught. Electric yeah, I'd one. get caught. <laughs> I would get caught. Um, I'm thinking green lights, bro. No. I think you'd get Fall asleep instantly whenever you want. I can do all right. I think the bug bite one is the easiest one to get away with. Yeah. Because you never, you never like, bro. I don't think I've ever said, "How did you not get?" Bit but I, you know, there? but as time as time goes on, I spend more and more time inside. You know, and I, I feel true. like as as technology will progress, I'll need that less and less. But to just only encounter dream just to light, protect green yourself lights. at all times from a bug bite is nice. Yeah, you might save your life. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's actually. Yeah, like you're the, right. You're right. That's, that's the right one. That's the, that's, that's the correct one. Um, you're correct. I feel like fall asleep instantly isn't the superpower. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'd already be doing that if I really try. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah. I like the green light one, but I'm not that bothered by traffic. Yeah. I'm, I'm usually listening just, to music or a YouTube video, and I'm just... I guess that's okay, true. Cool. I'll focus on whatever I, I was listening to. Yeah, I guess that's true. But bug bites are the worst. Yeah, they're but if I never But if I never got bit by a bug, you wouldn't notice. I think you're right. Yeah, just wouldn't complain about it, and it wouldn't be something that I would, like, walk into. Yep. Anyway, that's, that's it. That's the show. Thank well, you guys uh, for watching or listening. What? You're welcome. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Watching? What does that mean, Mike? Explain what that means, Mike. The watching. That's when you're watching uh, what's happening. Mm. Watching. Perfect. Anyway, thank you guys for watching or listening to this episode of Synced Up Podcast. I'm your host, Timmy DeRoe. Of course, that's your boy, Michael Claire. And we will Skinny see you guys. Penis. We will see you guys next week. Peace. Goodbye.